What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSJ TV. Today, we're going to be talking business. Things that go wrong, things that go right, things that are in your control, things that are out of your control, and how you or me, this is reinforcing to myself what I sh should be doing, is um, how you can take those individual things into your everyday life, regardless of what it is, and make the best of it. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget, Code LSJ at checkout on all things my protein. Thank you all for the support. I will have more on all of this coming for you in the very near future. Exciting times. It's going to be a great video today, guys. Drop it a like if you have not already. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know what you would like to see whilst we are on pause with the America content, which is one thing that we're going to get into today. It's a bummer. It, re it really is. Um, but anyway, let's do this. <laughs> I am very guilty in life of focusing on the things that I cannot control. It's something that I talk about a lot on social media and it's somewhat hypocritical of me to not even listen to my own advice and do everything that I can to focus on what I can control. Right now, I've been having a lot of technological issues, I've been having hard drive issues, laptop issues, memory card issues, camera issues, the lot, you name it, right? Everything that could potentially kind of go wrong with my job has kind of gone wrong and it's not ideal. But what can I control? That is what I need to focus on. Hi, get a caramel uh, latte, please. I'm just curious, but that, uh, uh, where do you get this? Uh, this? Yeah. There's a shop called uh, Wex, W-E-X, and some of the stuff from there. Okay. Um, pretty sure the mic I got from Amazon. Um, all over the place, really. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll go for a large one, please. So as I sit here for a change of scenery to get some work done, I celebrated actually being able to get some work that pays my bills done with a coffee and a cake, you know, because I just love coffee. I can happily say that it doesn't repulse me as much, or anywhere near as much as it did, really. I'm not quite a coffee lover just yet, though, I'm not going to lie. There you go. Nice one. No. As a few hours went by, I sat and enjoyed my lovely large caramel latte. Got a large because I love coffee. I, I got the task at hand done, right? At this point in time, being the only piece of work that I actually can do that's going to pay my bills, that's in my control. This is the only thing that I can do. And as you might have seen from those clips, I have my laptop back now. And that's great, right? Well, you'd think, like, yeah. Kinda. Sorta. Well, yeah, to tell you the truth, because it means that I can plug in my hard drives, it means that I can do the work, and, and it means that I can get back to normal, get back on track, right? Wrong. See, again, now, the kind of unique, I guess, situation that I'm finding myself in is like, it works, but not how I need it to. So somewhere down the line, something has gone wrong. Whether it's my um, laptop itself that has caused these issues or just a hard drive cock up because that, again, happens all the time. It's not unheard of, should we say. But the situation I'm finding myself in now is I finally have my laptop back and I can get work like that done. That's in my control. But it has created yet another issue that is out of my control. It has created an issue where I now cannot drag and drop my America hard drive footage to one, back it up somewhere else, and two, clear up more space. So I have a two terabyte hard drive that I took to America, and I have 
that that's now full, right? It's two terabytes worth of raw footage and edited videos. It's two terabytes worth of data. I've bought a four terabyte, double the size, right? More than enough for me to continue and, and finish the America videos, the America content. I've tried now, I've finally got my laptop back and I've got something that I can trust to kind of keep the footage, not corrupt the footage. I've got these two hard drives plugged in and I'm trying to drag and drop, just a simple, like you're in school, drag and drop the data from one hard drive to the other. Bearing in mind I did this maybe three weeks ago for a client work, right? From a two terabyte hard drive to four terabyte hard drive. It's not letting me do that. I don't know why, it's coming up with an error code. Um, it's like everything in the world is just trying to stop me from doing this and, and editing this America footage and I don't understand why. Um, but it's just, it just seems to be one problem after another. I bought this hard drive specifically for it, right? This is a massive four terabyte brand new, it costs over a hundred quid for this. Specifically purchased for the reason of backing up my America content and being able to continue editing more because the two terabyte one is full. So I can work. Um, it's just not the work that I want to be doing. This is still work. This is still a Wednesday, Sunday upload. It's part of the schedule. It's just what I do, but it's not what I really, really want to be doing. And I want to be churning out these America videos. Like I can still do what I love and I really shouldn't complain. It's just very, very, very frustrating. And I need to focus on what I can control. I need to detach myself from that because I can't do anything about that. Well, I can do something about it. It's just going to cost me friggin' a few more quid to fix it. I'm gonna take it to someone. The next step is to take it to Apple. Apple will probably take me to someone else and whoever needs to sort the issue, because I'm sure it's resolvable. I just need to speak to the right people to resolve it, you know? It's the same with anything in life. Like, something could happen that you're not entirely happy with, but you just gotta deal with it, you know? Like, adapt, overcome, find a way to, to, to kind of just deal with that in your own way and, and focus on the things that you can control and make the best out of that kind of that situation you know to be honest that's always been something that I've prided myself on being able to do is kind of taking a, a step back and being rational and thinking right okay so uh, this has happened I can do this this and this to make it better like this has happened because of this and this and this and so I can take a step back and, and be the, the kind of the rational guy to to do something about that and make a change, right? And adapt. Um, and I just haven't done that lately at all in every aspect of that possible meaning. You know, I just haven't done it. And I'm disappointed in myself and I'm a little bit sad and upset with myself with the way that I've dealt with lots of things. And I just, it winds up causing you more harm than good and doing more harm than good. And I have done that, you know? So, um, you know, put it this way, if you ask my friends, any of my friends that know me, they would say that I am that rational guy. I am the person that, especially in business, can do X, Y, Z and, and kind of overcome these things. But just in life, just in general, I, I just haven't done that as of late and I need to focus on what I can control. I need to do better and I am doing better um i feel you know so the next step is to take the hard drives to someone that knows what they're talking about get past that issue and then we can crack back on with the america content sooner rather than later because there's just so much cool stuff that you you guys haven't seen yet you know and we can crack on with regular life after the, all of that's done you know um yeah so that's a little bit of a, a bit of a rant from me today. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed it, and thank you for sitting and listening. I appreciate it. I appreciate you um, just just taking the time out of your days to watch this channel. It's it's uh, responsible for me being able to do what I what I do for a job. So thank you. I appreciate you, and I uh, hope you're enjoying the content. Thank you all so much for watching. Together we will grow. I'll see you all in the next one.